Okay, so the lighting in the basement kind of sucks, but that's okay. This is real. This is a real life video vlog. And I am here in the eBay dungeon with Godzilla. And um, Godzilla actually sold on eBay. <laughs> he sold for $49 plus shipping. It's from 1998. This is the 1998 Godzilla. The Matthew Broderick Godzilla that isn't really that great, but people still like it. It's still a fun movie, even though it's like not as good as the other Godzilla movies. But yeah, he sold on eBay. $49 plus shipping. <laughs> And I have to find a box to pack this big guy up. He's got all these spikes and everything. Woo! Here's a cute little sail, just in time for Easter. Here's a little uh, ceramic bunny, or porcelain bunny. Uh, Beatrix Potter from 1976. That went for $30 plus shipping. Uh, last fall, I did buy a whole box of Beatrix Potter little ceramic or porcelain figurines. I spent 30 for the whole box. This one little bunny um, paid for the whole box. So any little figurines after that will be profit. Okay, for today's video, I'm going to talk about how it's totally okay to not fit in as, how should I word this? It's okay to not fit into the stereotypical YouTuber model. It's okay to have a different YouTube channel. It's okay to be different as a reseller. I don't have a shed. I don't have a garage for eBay necessarily. Not yet anyway. But I've got my eBay dungeon. We uh, work in the basement. We uh, you know, have an office room. <laughs> and we do things a little bit differently. Um, here's a sale. United Colors of Benetton. This is a vintage designer bag didn't really go for a high designer price. It sold for $19.99. I had it in the shop for a couple years. I lowered the price recently to get it out of here. Okay, so here are some things that I've listed recently. Um, some vintage ladies brassieres. They're all lacy and everything. This is Fredericks of Hollywood and it says, made in the USA. Wow. You don't see that too often with clothes anymore. Uh, so this is probably from the 1980s. Um, they're in pretty good shape. If I find these cheap, you know, for like a couple bucks, I'll grab them. Um, this is a different brand. It said made in the Philippines. But I believe it's also 1980s. It's just like a cheaper brand. So um, I listed that one for $19.99. This one for $32 because it's a little bit nicer. A little bit fancier. Um, so we'll see. Some of the vintage odd things like that surprisingly sell. Um, I have sold vintage Victoria's Secret, vintage um, lingerie and accessories. As long as they're in really good condition, like like new, obviously I'm not going to sell anything too ripped up or beat up. So condition is everything with these things. So I'm seeing a lot of similarities with the like YouTube resellers. A lot of them have a shed. A lot of them use those Ikea shopping bags. A lot of them use the word flip or picker in their YouTube channel name. And that's totally fine. They can do all of those things. But it's also okay to be a little different. We don't have an eBay shed. We don't use the Ikea bags. <laughs> We don't have flips or picker in our YouTube channel name, and we don't only do picking videos. We also are movie hosts. We also dress up in character. We also put out other content, and that's totally fine. Um, a YouTube channel that I really admire for doing something different and just kind of doing videos about all different topics, including videos, uh, video vlogs about their life, is Tucker Upper. Um, I'm a big fan of that channel. I like what they do. I think it's really cool that, you know, some videos might be dumpster diving. Some videos might be flea market or clean outs. But then they also share little videos about their life and other topics. They go and do other things. If they go on vacation, they'll make a little video about it. So I think it's cool to um, to mix it up and be a little different. And this is shaking. I'm sorry. <laughs> My phone is, there we go. So that's all, that's all I'm trying to say is it's totally cool to be a little different. And I actually like seeing different YouTubers doing different things. 
um, you know, it's, it's cool to like think outside the box and like, okay, what else can we do and still be entertaining? And maybe people who like those clean out videos or the picker videos might also like the other things I do. You know, maybe those other worlds can, can kind of be intertwined. And that's kind of like what we do with the mummy and the monkey. We have podcasts. We put out found footage from like VHS or film reels that we find. We do these little thrifting vlogs and we dress up in character and host B movies. So you can do different things on YouTube. You don't have to, um, you know, your channel doesn't have to stick to just one thing. You can do other things too. And that's totally fine. Anyways, there's my little Ted talk. I'll get off the soapbox now. And, um, yeah, thanks again. It's a rainy day today. It's almost Easter, kind of springtime, almost spring. Technically we are in spring, but in Northeast Ohio, it's usually cold and rainy. And sometimes we even get snow. Yes, I said it, that four letter word, snow. But uh, no snow today, just rain and cold. So yeah, I'm gonna work in here and uh, get some eBay stuff done, get some video stuff done and all that good stuff. And hopefully you guys out there are getting your stuff done too. So work through it, we'll get through it together. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. If you like my little video vlogs, you can hit that like button or tap the like button, give it a little boop, and we will see you around. Thanks, guys. Bye.